Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50p's we're hunting through looking for commemoratives, ones with more than the face value but ideally looking to fill the book. There's a link in the description to the books I use if you want to pick up the same books that I do. I do get a bit of commission for each sale though, just so you, you are aware. We're looking for, um, well, we were looking for the book because I didn't put the book where it normally lives. Uh, so that was a 15 minute hunt just for the book. <laughs> Lesson learned, Christopher. Right, uh, we need the Kew Gardens to fill page number one. We need lots of Olympics to complete our Olympic collection. We also need a Flopsy Bunny. But otherwise, we're pretty much complete up to and including the Coronation 50p. I'm still yet to find any of the new definitive 2023 Atlantic Salmons. Um, I keep seeing lots of messages from people who have found them, but if you are a person that's still looking for your first Atlantic Salmon, let me know. Let me know that it's not just me that can't find them out in circulation. <laughs> it would reassure me a lot, but let's get into the bag and see what we find today. We'll open the first bag in real time and I'll show you what we're doing. Uh, that is the Britannia definitive design up to 2008 and it's 2008 which is the low minted circulating year to look out for. After that this design, the uh, Shield of the Royal Arms became the definitive design. The key dates to look for out on this coin are 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18 and 2021 for the years it didn't circulate and 2017 which is the low minted circulating year. Uh, but ideally we want some commemoratives. It's not looking too promising. Oh no, there we go. It's a little bit dirty. Uh, so prices I put up are based on uh, good quality, good condition coins. So this coin, I don't think anyone's going to pay more than 50p for, but it is a design where in a nicer condition would definitely be a smidge over face value to a collector who needs one. But first bag done, all we've got is a dirty Benjamin Britain. We'll just speed up now until hopefully we find some better condition coins. Oh, there's Tom Kitten from 2017's Beatrix Potter set. All the 2017 Beatrix Potters are very, very common though. Oh, there's the Memorial 50p. The first coin minted with the King's Portrait on for circulation, which I think is really cool, but it's a very common coin. 9.6 million were minted. Oh, there's another fairly common one. It's a glorious design, Sherlock Holmes. I think it's a lovely coin, but uh, again, very, very common. And there's a representation of the People Act. So a generous bag in terms of the quantity of commemoratives we found, but unfortunately, all of them are very common. Oh, there's a Pride, relatively new coin for circulation. But again, very common. There's Dictionary, not breaking our streak of very common coins unfortunately. And there's another Dictionary, just to prove how common it is. How many times can I say common in one video? <laughs> That's another Tom Kitten there. Oh, there's the king. It is Coronation 50p. So, uh, do check, and we have already seen on this one, what the portrait of the king looks like. He is uncrowned for the coin that went into circulation, but there is a version where the king is wearing a crown that was only released to collectors and collectors packs. So, uh, one to look out for because it shouldn't be in your change with the king wearing a crown. We don't know the final mintage for that. It's estimated to be 5 million, but uh, I'll hang on to them until we get the finalized annual mintage figures released. Platinum Jubilee, which again, similar to the Coronation 50p, there is a unique obverse that was only released to collectors. 
it's got the image of the Queen on horseback I think within a garter as well but uh, not that one that's how it should appear in circulation again very common That's Benjamin Bunny. He is the most common circulating Camerata 50p. There's no rotation error on him though, but definitely worth checking for. Another Coronation 50p, uncrowned king on the obverse, unfortunately. And there's Victoria Cross, the heroic acts. But with that coin, along with these designs, so there's 10 in total. There's the Victoria Cross heroic acts. These were all restruck in 2019 using the old designs. Uh, they weren't put into circulation. So if you do, whoops, find one of those 10 coins, check the date on the obverse. 2006 so that is an original circulating one all of the restrike designs are dated 2019 of course oh, the squirrel nut came from 2016's Beatrix Potter run a smidge over face value not enormously so Oh, there's the king again. Memorial 50p. Still not, about, still not that Atlantic salmon that we really, really, really want to find. There's a 2017 Peter Rabbit. Who are we missing? Jeremy Fisher. Then we found all four of the 2017 Beatrix Potter coins. There's Paddington, Paddington of the Cathedral, one of the four Paddingtons you can find and all four of the Paddingtons are very unscarce. Oops. We've got another Tom Kitten there, just showing how uh, regularly you'll find them in circulation. Oh, Platinum Jubilee. Will we have the alternative obverse? Sadly not. Oh, Christopher Einside. Um Not the scarcest coin. In fact, you'll find it fairly often. Um, but I do keep them all because we share a name. I'm called Christopher. It's called Christopher. And uh, now I have far too many of them. Oh, we have an Olympic. More specifically, a Paralympic. One of five of the uh, 29 designs that were designated for Paralympic uh, sports. So this is Boccia. Very, very nice. Anytime you find a 2011 is always going to make for a good find. And there's another Peter Rabbit.
We've got Paddington at the palace there. Another of the Paddingtons. That's half of the Paddingtons found now. Victoria across the medals. Could this be the restrike we're after? Uh, no, sadly not. Oh, there we go. We have Battle of Hastings. I don't think they're going to be anything, are they? Nope. Um, again, a smidge of a face value for Battle of Hastings. Could it be a restrike, though? Oh, no. <laughs> we'll keep looking for one of those. Okay, then. Last bag of the hunt. We've had some okay finds. I can't recall if the botcher is a new one for the book or not. I'll have to check the book whilst I'm checking through for any key dates. As usual though, there is links in the description of this video over to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. There's also links to my other social media channels and the PO Box address if you want to write in to me. Benjamin Buddy, no rotation error sadly. Uh, there's also a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job, so please do check their YouTube channel out too. 2016 will be something, it's Team GB, hopefully soon to be followed by another Team GB 50p. Um, we'd love that to go into state condition because it's a lovely, lovely design. That's 2017 Shield, one of the key dates we look out for. I don't always spot them, this is why I'm splitting out the Britannias in my hand from the Shields on the desk, because I'll flip through them at the end of the video, see if there's any... Um, key dates I've missed. Another iron side though, which is always a welcome find. Right, uh, that is the commemoratives done. I'm just going to whiz through the coins to see if there's any key dates I've missed in the hunt. Okay then, so key dates, we've got two 2008 Britannias, which is very nice, and one additional 2017 shield. So we found two of each of the key dates, which is nice. Uh, one new coin for the book, the Olympic Botcher, which I think is probably our star find, followed by the new Coronation 50p and the Battle of Hastings potentially, but you'll have to let me know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video has been. It's always interesting to see that. And all it leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.